let's say that in both cases, I only have one cubic centimeter of each of these things. So we say that the density is equal to the mass divided by the volume, you know, for each case. But we know the volume is the same. We know we have one cubic centimeter of each thing. Let's say that for the, for the uh, cotton, I know that I have one cubic centimeter, but if I'm gonna have this, the same amount of lead and cotton, I know I'm gonna have less mass. So over here, I'm gonna have this exactly the same, and so if I have the same volume, I'm gonna have more mass. If I have one cubic centimeter, the same volume of cotton, and the same volume of lead, the volume is represented here in the bottom. There's a sort of an implied one out here in front because it's one cubic centimeter in each case. So if I have one cubic centimeter in both cases, then I'm gonna have less mass. I'm gonna have, relatively speaking, more mass of the lead. Density of the cotton is less than the density of the lead. Density of the cotton is less than the density of lead. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.